We're off now, like we're loading up for the start. Big time and distance here. Norway in the middle. Alex has got heaps of pace on down the middle. French and Swiss, Switzerland up the top end of the uh, line. Tommy Johnson took that low one. He's getting a little bit mapped down there. Um, we got the Kiwi as well down the uh, down the bottom end of the uh, of the course there. Mateus Coots looks like he's punched oh, out well. Oh, he oh, oh, oh. oh no! We could be having a spill. He was Mateus Coots. He was doing really well then. He had a great start, Mateus, but he's just cooked it. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty unfortunate. I tell you what, did well to uh, avoid any collisions there. Looking like we have. NZL around the uh, around the top mark first. Tom Johnson sitting in second, so he's looking very good at the moment. Is Tommy Johnson first in the last race, sitting second now? But the Kiwi winning yep. French bloke Pierre in third with a big white hat on. <laughs> Alex Mitchell Barker right out in front here. He would love this if he could uh, finish this off with a win. The top three have really pulled away from the rest of the bunch. We saw Mateus and another guy sort of put it in three. a little bit, and the next guys are, ba are back. So we got Tommy Johnson in second here and Pierre in third, yeah? So, and uh, Alex Mitchell Barker now going into a jibe. Pretty close quarters there between uh, Johnson and uh, Le Boucher. Johnson now peeling off with a jibe. There was, uh, there was a few boats there that just really got held up at the, at the top end of the course. Um, there hasn't really been a split. The, the, the top three have really just gapped the fleet. The top three are sort of we're looking probably really good. we're probably looking at uh, Alexander from Norway, who's uh, who's in fourth, and then we've got uh, our other uh, is that our other Kiwi there as well uh, in uh, in fifth, I feel. So yeah, it's uh, it's really a, this could be really really big news for uh, for Tom Johnson. Where's France, the flying Tom Frenchman, Johnson. Mark? Is he still in third? Yes, he's in third. Yeah, I think the flying Frenchman France. is still in third. He may even he may even be in uh, be in second now. I reckon there's a massive puff just above Johnson there, and he's about to get mapped, and the Kiwi's on the front edge of it, sort of thing. Yeah, Johnson's in the puff now. Big angle change now. Le has got it. Johnson's jiving to stay in the puff. He's now looks like he's overtaken the Kiwi. So you probably say he's almost in second. Frenchman's in first. I think Tommy Johnson, yeah, yeah they're, they're yeah. about even. Yep. Yep, I think John, Johnson will be in third. The Kiwi's managed to soak down a little bit lower. And who's winning there? That's, uh, that's, Pierre. Fran that's Pierre, out in front. The flying Frenchman. That's it. The flying Frenchman has come through and he's winning this race. And I don't think the the fleet has compressed up a little bit, um, but I think this is you're looking at your top three. You can see the finish mark and the finish boat there in the distance, um, and this looks like it's going to be your top three, barring any any major mistakes. Johnson's trying to soak down low there. Uh, oh, I don't know about Pierre. Pierre's jibed early, and he's not laying the finish. He's going to have to do a double jibe. That is a shocker. That's from a Pierre. yeah. And Johnson's coming in hot. The Kiwi's coming in underneath Pierre. I reckon he's going to pip him. I reckon the that. Kiwi's I reckon one. that's the Kiwi's one. Yeah. Kiwi's one. Pierre two. Johnson three. Yeah. To my eye. Yeah. Just didn't quite get the angle across the line. So that's still all to play for though. So yeah, that looks a, like Alexander in fourth. So the. So, so that's a good good result for Johnson. He's had a one now three. So yeah. as we said, if you if you top three, they're obviously they're, they're keepers. So. Pierre actually won that last race. We now have uh, have so confirmation. Did win. Yeah, so he is now on three points. Mitchell Barker got a second, which pushes him to seven. Alexander from Norway is on eight points, and then we've got a bit of a log jam down the bottom end. We got Holroyd in fifth on eleven. Coots is on eleven. Uh, Susalu is on thirteen from Canada, and Nicholas from uh, from Switzerland is uh, is on fifteen. So it's really a two horse race. Uh, Alexander from Norway and Alex Mitchell Barker from New Zealand, they've got a great little battle to get on the podium here as well to finish third. So at the moment, we're probably sitting in about, I don't know, 12 knots, Will? Probably average, gust average, average gusting yep. up a bit above 15, maybe yep. gusting to 16. Yep, yep. So that's, uh, you know, there's there's nice little breeze lines coming down the uh, down the course now. So we're going to be full noise on this first reach. Uh, it's it's going to be sensational. I don't know how much time we've got left, but it can't be long. Tommy Johnson loving the pin. He's, he's, he's looking like he's lining up down that pin end again. Everybody is sort of going to be midline-ish. Kiwi a long way off the line trying to do a time and distance here. 
struggling to stay on the foils. A few guys starting to wind their boats up now. Got great vision here from the drones. All the boys are on the foils just about. Canadian's about to Tommy pop Johnson's up. Johnson's not up. No, he's, he's got he that low groove though. He's in at the Oh, pier. there's a bit of... Oh, Pierre. Yeah. Nearly, nearly into the back of the committee boat there. Yeah, the, Sw the Swiss uh, competitor really nailed that start. Sort of thing. I don't reckon Tom Johnson's got his bow far enough forward here. So no, he's, he's bow back, mate. Yeah, he's bow back. So it's looking like uh, Lebuchet. Oh, he's got a bit loose there around the uh, around the top. These guys are all pushing themselves up. They hang it out real hard, these blokes, don't they? They're yeah. riding at max Round height. Round we go. We've got Switzerland coming down, soaking down. Pierre's soaked down as well. Tommy Johnson's in there, mate. Yeah, he's, he's around he's one. He's around in first. He's so as it stands one. now, he is leading this grand final series. Has one hand on the cup. But the Frenchman is not far behind. No, Lebuchet's in, Lebuchet's in fourth at the moment. There's really good puff coming down off the sandbank there. Uh, whoever is up the top there, it's uh, it's looking like the Norwegian. Oh no, the Swiss, the Swiss sailor. So all these guys charging down now, hitting the right. We've had a couple that have bailed out. The, two, the Kiwi and the Canadian have bailed out. So Alex Mitchell Barker, uh, Tom Johnson cruising down the middle of the course here. I'll tell you what, Lebuchet's got some got his work cut out for him here, I reckon. Mate, I reckon he's got he's got more on than he knows what to do with. So yeah. um, he'll yeah. be sweating like a gypsy with a mortgage at the moment. Yeah, no, the yeah. But uh, Tommy Johnson, well, he's been venting a bit, TJ, on his rudder. Yeah, the the, the guys he, are he actually a bit it. inside inside him here. It'd be interesting, although they're just coming out of the puff. And he's being able to soak down a lot lower. As far uh, as there's Tom a few can... guys that are right on the inside here that I wouldn't be surprised if they're actually in front of him when they come back on the jibe. So I don't know. I think Lebuchet is in that pack as well. He's starting to wind up into a bit of pressure now. He's cruising through now. He's jib jibed off. So he'll be looking for that lay. There's a few guys that have gone out the other side. The Norwegians out here as well. Great shots over the top of Alexander as he rolls into a jibe now as well. So Tommy Johnson's coming back from a hard left hand. There is a few uh, boats out on the right there, sort of thing. The Frenchman is is behind at well, the Well, the moment. thing is about coming in on, on starboard into this bottom mark is that he's going to have to jibe through the finish. Yeah. So, you know, that's going to cost him, even if it's a good one, it's still oh. going to cost him about three or four lengths. Pierre's got a lot on here to actually get back Spoken. in the game. He's Spoken. he's getting up absolutely... TJ is ripping, yeah. mate. He's just walking away with this now. Yeah. He I... is launched. He's going to... Jet he's fighter gonna, stuff. He's going to claim He's going to claim it, I think. He's got a nice little puff down here coming into the finish. There's a big gaggle of boats out to the other side. Johnson comes into the jibe and claims the 2019 International Wash Games slalom event. Well done, mate. And we had Alex Mitchell Barker after a bad start has come through. Gaggle of boats following. Uh, looks like Lebuchet ended up. Oh, he's in the drink. Oh no, the Frenchman. Oh, he just put too much on there. That that may even cost him third place. So he could be off the podium with he that. He could. He could have gone from from first overall to off the podium. So the flying Frenchman. What, what, a, what a finale we've had here in Western Australia. As we see Pierre getting the boat up now. Bad luck, Pierre. But uh, Tommy Johnson just doing a bit of a victory lap there. He's jumped in the boat for the day for the event. And, uh, yeah, that's a, that's a serious effort from him to, to do it. Well done to all the competitors that are out here today. Uh, we've had two hours of absolute glamour Perth conditions. Thanks to the race committee. Thank you to you, Will Bolden, as well. Oh, thanks to you, Mark, for having me on. So we, uh, we're going to finish up uh, up now. And, uh, and, uh, and thank you very much for, for watching, guys. And we will... Keep you informed about the Wasp games going forward as we start tomorrow with the championship racing.